Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today we are doing my two month update for the Project Pan Roulette collaboration. This is a project that was created by my friends Rebecca Morgan and Alexandra. They did a few rounds of this project together as a kind of collaboration with friends with each other and after the second round they opened this project up to anyone who wanted to join them and a bunch of us wanted to join them myself included and i've been having a ton of fun with this project and the products that are in it let's get into it and go over my progress for this update some products do not have a ton of progress so let's get into it first up let's talk about a product that still has not been touched as of today but tomorrow we'll start getting used and that is my milani make it last setting spray i finally finished the makeup forever setting spray that i wanted to finish before i started this it took way longer than i thought it would um when i put this into this project i thought it would only be like a week or two of the the makeup forever setting spray left before i could start working on this one and it ended up being two full months. So that is unfortunate. I am way behind on this, but I have marked it now right here. And I'm gonna start working on this tomorrow. This was for the category, a new item in my collection. So no progress on that yet. The next category was a product from ColourPop. And for that, I chose this lippy stick in the shade BFF. I have been using this I am one of the slowest when it comes to painting lip products, just painfully slow. Here's where I'm at now. I have used this several times, but the progress just isn't showing, which is good and bad. I mean, it's nice that these products don't disappear in a week. I'd be disappointed that we spent this kind of money on them if they did, but at the same time, it's like, I'm never gonna use up a single lip product ever. Here is my progress. The lines are almost on top of each other, but that's where I'm at, and this is my goal to get down here. I will be going back to work on August 27th, so unfortunately I'll be going back to work, but fortunately I will probably start having more progress on the lip products that I have in projects because I do wear lip products more consistently during the school year when I'm working than when I'm not. Okay, up next, a colorful eyeliner. For that, I chose this purple amethyst eyeliner from the brand Pencil Me In. I believe I received this in an Ipsy bag some time ago. And I'm wearing it in my brows today. I always wonder if you can really see it. I put a purple eyeshadow on top of it to kind of set it, but I don't feel like it even shows up that much. I mean, it's subtle, I guess that's a good thing. My progress on this is pretty small too. Right there. I'm gonna show you why I'm not using this every day because there is a reason. This is my other eyebrow pencil. It's just in a, the shade like Universal Brown or Taupe or something. It was another Ipsy bag pencil and it was a it was from the brand Ofra um, and this is what I have left on this little thing and this is why I'm not getting you more use out of the purple eyeliner because I am just determined to finish this pencil off it is so close to being gone I mean we are talking this month or next month at the latest so I tend to use this one more often than this one because I want this gone. But once this is gone, I am going to be using this every day in my eyebrows and the progress should start picking up faster when that happens. Cause right now I'm using this like six days out of the week and then I use this on the seventh. So once this is gone and it shouldn't be much longer, I need to sharpen it again. Um, I'll be doing purple eyebrows pretty much every day, which will make the progress go faster. So, and I do also use it as an eyeliner, which is what it's intended for, but um, just not regularly enough. Using it as an eyeliner is not gonna get it used up enough. I either need to use it as an eyeshadow base or 
in my eyebrows and it'll start going. So I think I got one more use and then I'll sharpen it again. And then, like I said, pretty soon I'll be using it every day in my brows and hopefully the progress will start really showing up. Okay, up next is an item that highlights, brightens, or illuminates. And for that, I chose this Tarina Tarantino Matte Pinky Peachy Brightening Concealer. And I have it on my under eyes today, a little bit right around here on my upper lip. I do have two similar products in two different projects. One is this BB concealer and this brightening pink one in this project. And they're both good, but I've been tending to reach for this one more often. Um, I'll usually use one or the other, but not both. Unfortunately, you cannot measure progress because of the packaging. I say this in the, every update, but it's true. But I am using this almost every day. And so it would be really cool if we could get to the point where this is finished before the end of the project. But I don't know if that's going to happen. I have no idea how much product I've used up so far. Okay, up next is something that is special to me, and for that I chose my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Kindness. I do think this is a very special color. I'm not wearing it today. Um, I decided to use Glass Bowl instead, but this is how I would wear it. I would put this on top of this eye look, and I have not hit pan yet or anything, but I have had an opportunity to use this several times over the last month and I've loved it. So I'm really enjoying having it back in this project. I would like to hit pan again on this before the finale, but um, we'll see if that happens. We'll see. The sixth item that is currently in the project was something I've considered decluttering. And for that, I chose this Glotion. This was from a brand called Ultima 2. It's not available, at least not in the Ulta where I shop anymore. And I finished it. <laughs> I'm so glad I finished it. If I've achieved nothing else during this project, finishing this is really a good one. I did consider decluttering this and I wasn't using it. It's been sitting around for years and years and I was avoiding it. I was, I was literally avoiding it and putting it in this project forced me to deal with it. And it wasn't great, it wasn't bad, but it's gone. There is still some, pa some product like stuck to the sides, but this is light as a feather and you can see through the packaging all the way down to the bottom So yeah, it's gone. I might have one more use in here, but it's for the purpose of this project, I am considering it an empty. It does give me some glow. I do think that is what's kind of giving me this slightly oily look or dewy look, whatever you wanna call it. I do think it is this product that's doing that. I do have a setting powder on, on top of this. I think this product would be really well suited for the winter, so um, it's too bad we're kind of in our most humid time of the, the year, but I'm just so glad it's gone that it doesn't really matter. I have other products that can give me a dewy look during the winter, so it's gone. So that means it's time to roll in a new item. I went on random.org and put in the numbers zero through, well, one through 50, which was the amount of categories we have to choose from. And I landed on number 23. And the criteria for number 23 is a product you aren't sure if you like, which is kind of funny because it's very similar to a product you're considering decluttering. Um, and it's also funny because my friend Kana got this category a couple months ago when she first started the project and I loved what she did with this. She basically just took a product she wasn't sure if she liked, worked on it for a month and then said, yes, I like it or no, I don't like it. And I thought that was brilliant. Like, cause it's kind of hard to decide when to stop using that category, but she just said, I'm going to take a month to use it and make a decision on whether or not I like it or not. 
So, brilliant, Kana. I told her I would do the same thing if I ever got that category, and here I am with that category. It didn't take me too long to figure out what product I wanted to roll in because I specifically mentioned this product and I said that I wasn't sure if it was gonna work for me or not in the Blush is Bay tag. Um, and that is my Lipstick Queen Cream Blush in Black Lace Rabbit. This is the packaging right here. This is the packaging right here, and it is a cream black blush that looks like that. There are some little flecks of shimmer kind of running through it. And I've only swatched it. I've never worn it on my cheeks. I'm kind of scared. So it's supposed to be like a color changing situation. So you use your fingers or whatever to apply it and it's supposed to turn pink. But here's the thing, it never really gets pink. It just gets kind of like, well, let me show you what it turns into. I thought it would turn into like a pink, pink a pink pink. Now that's kind of pink but there's something still kind of ashy that's left behind. Um, and for that reason, I have been a little bit afraid to try it. Now, obviously I'm gonna put a little bit of powder blush on top of it. So if it's a little bit darker, you know, if it's not a great shade, hopefully the powders that I put on top of it will kind of correct it, but I have literally been too afraid to even put it on my cheeks. I've only swatched it. So it is time. It is time to put this on my cheeks, give it a month to try it out and form an opinion on it because maybe it's not as bad as I think it is and I can make it work or maybe it is horrible and I need to let it go and get it out of this house. So either way, I will have an answer for you about that next month. All right. That is it for this update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out everyone else doing this project. It is a really big collaboration. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, this is Vaughn's video. I'm going to make Bed Gaze Challenge. <laughs> so this is gonna be funny. Watch this. A big Bobby Boo. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what I found upstairs. This button is correct. If you press this button, it makes it light. Daddy,